YouTube, what's up? Steve K here with another video. So this video is going to be my Beatles vinyl record collection as of 2018. 18. 19. I knew I was going to mess that up, but apologies about that. So I pretty much have uh, decided to... I was just making sure the video was on, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so... Also checking something on my phone. Anyway, so if you saw my Beatles vinyl record collection before, I showed you all the way that I did show them, like in this crate that I have them in, and like just went through the record like one at a time and stuff. But now I figure I change it up and just show it to you all a little bit differently this time, okay? And apologies about wearing the hat in this video. Just saw it, maybe I just uh, change it up a little bit. And also this has the patch of like Earl Weaver right here on the side, and we're getting close to baseball season. Well, pretty soon, but we're still in the month of February, but spring training is just around the corner, so. So for this video, like I said, this is all the Beatle records that I have on vinyl, and I keep them a lot in these uh, jackets that they're in and stuff, you know, just to protect the record itself. Well, you know, on the outside and stuff does, doesn't get dusty or wet or anything like that. And I also have them on CD and cassette as well, so excluding them pretty much. Alright, so... Let's uh, get right into this, alright? Let's not waste a lot of time here, and let's just get into it. So the first one I have is the Beatles' Please Please Me album. This is a mono pressing, and it was purchased at my local music store. It's the Parlophone one. The original one, like a first pressing one, probably goes for a lot of money and stuff. I see it on eBay, but just um, I figure i get this one because it's a very good album of the Beatles. You know, a lot of great songs that are on this. Yep. Now, try and like keep these in like around here so I don't really like get mixed up with a lot of these, but probably just try and do it this way, but we'll see. Next one I have is with the Beatles. Now, as I mentioned, these dust jacket things, you know, it just protects the record, you know, like this part and the back part too. And you can put like your records in the back side if you want to, but anyway, this one has a lot of great songs on this one too. I mean, it's probably one of my top five favorite albums from the Beatles. I mean, Please Please Me is probably a top ten album, but there's too many albums to choose from the Beatles, you know, to say, like, which one is really the best. I mean, people can say, like, um, Sgt. Pepper's is the number one best album, or Abbey Road, and uh, In My Life, and many, many others. But there you go, with the Beatles. And the next one I have is Introducing the Beatles. This is the VJ records one this is a stereo one and uh with the beatles is also from uh, record and tape Trailers, my local music store this one is from another store that um my phone is going off it's nobody there anyway this is um pretty much like the please please me album but this one um like i said is a stereo one is on the black vj or i think it's the vj records label it's like got some colors in it or something like that but anyway Here's another copy I have. This one is on the black VJ Records one. This one is, I believe, it's, I'm not sure if it's like stereo or mono, but I'm not really too sure. I mean, it says on here stereophonic, so I'm pretty sure it's stereo. I guess they mean it by that. But uh, that was purchased at a flea market. Then I have another copy of introducing the beat or yeah introducing the Beatles on this copy just doesn't have the um, case for it you know the other part but that's okay I mean it's still a pretty good album next one I have is another one of my favorites and this is meet the Beatles this one is the one that features I want to hold your hand and this boy which is not on the album uh, with the Beatles but Still has, you know, good songs on this one. I mean, I love this album. This is also a flea market purchase. This is on the Rainbow Capital Records label. And this is also a mono one. As you can see, what I mean by the uh, Rainbow one. I just call it that because of the colors. But uh, nothing really like, you know, just um, something I just like to call it. And there's another copy that I have that is a stereo one. And this is on the Purple Capital Records one. Same amount of songs that I mentioned before. And this one, I believe, was a music store that went out of business where I bought this one, but I'm not too sure. But uh, 
Still a great album, nonetheless. With that said, next one. Now I'm going to try something different now. I have two copies of the Beatles' um, second album. This one is on the Rainbow Capitol Records one, which is a mono one. And this one is on the Green Capitol Records one, which is a stereo one. And both are pretty good albums. I mean, good amount of great Beatles songs on it, like uh, Roll Over Beethoven, which was a cover. And you can't do that originally from A Hard Day's Night, but they cut it. Please, Mr. Postman, she loves you. I call your name Long Tall Sally. I mean, I know I'm not really naming a lot of the songs, but that's uh, pretty much it. And my, um, my granddad got me a few of these records, and my grandma also got me into the Beatles. God bless both of them. Now, next one I have is A Hard Day's Night. It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. This one is the one... The, um, it's United Artists, and this one says monorail or something like that. I guess it may be mono or something. It doesn't really say if it's stereo, so it might be a mono. Not too sure. I mean, you can let me know about it. Then I have another copy, which, um, United Artists label, as you can see right there on that one. Pretty much like the same one. This one says High Fidelity, as it says. I mean, I love the movie and I love the soundtrack as well. I mean, just love a good amount of the music on this. I'll put that back in there. And then I have another copy of A Hard Day's Night. And this one is the stereo one on the United Artists label. Just a different label than this one. And like I said, you know, love the music in it and the film as well. Um... This one, I believe, was a flea market, and a couple others were, too. One may have been from the music store. It's no longer in business, but I'm not sure. And here's another copy of A Hard Day's Night, which is this one, the English one, or whatever they call it. And like, this is a stereo one, not a mono one, from my local music store before it went out of business. And figure I get this one, too, because of the fact, you know, of having the Hard Day's Night ones, you know, these copies, and then this pretty much side add this one. There you go. Yep, so that's pretty much the album that I have the most copies of, A Hard Day's Night. Um, next one, I have two copies of the next album, which is something new. This one is a stereo one, which is on the um, Purple Capital Records one, and this one is on the Rainbow Capital Records, which is a mono one. Um, I can uh, take a look at it. There it is. Yep. So, there you go. That's it for them. Now the next one. These, um, one was a flea market purchase. and uh, Actually, both are flea market purchases. Let's just uh, leave it as that. Next one I have is Beatles 65. This one's a really good album. This one's on... The mono Rainbow Capital Records, like uh, songs like um, Babies in Black and She's a Woman. And the only Beatles album I don't own is Beatles for Sale, because it's a little hard to find sometimes, and it's a little bit of a good amount of money, depending like what uh, the record is. Like if it's a first pressing or something or whatever it is, I mean, I just don't own it. I own it on CD, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> Next one is another copy. This is on the Orange Capitol Records one. This one's another stereo, is a stereo one. And, um, yep, flea market purchase. Actually, no, this one was, um, another music store that went out of business called Tunes. I know I'm not really naming the name of the place, but it's a place that was in Maryland. I mean, people may not know what I'm talking about. And here's another copy, a stereo one, on the green Apple Records. Green Apple one. This is also from Tunes. This is when they were going out of business, and I figure I pick these up. So I figured, why not? Hm. All right, next one is Help. I need somebody help. This is a um. This is the Rainbow Capital Records one, and it's the stereo one. As I said, yep, Rainbow Capital Records and. I also have another copy of Help 
This one is a rougher copy, though, as you can see. I don't have a little thing around it. Yeah, it's a little messed up, but this is a mono pressing. This is a Rainbow Capital Records one. Love this movie as well. And, of course, if you, like, open this up as well, but it's a little bit messed up, but still, records, it, the record itself is pretty nice. And there it is. I mean, saw it at the flea market and just said, I'm definitely not going to let this go because, for one, it was a dollar. I mean, yeah, it was a dollar because of the fact that it's not really in the best condition, but as long as the record itself is pretty nice. So, and besides, it's the Beatles. I mean, you can't let it go for a dollar. And here is Beatles 6. This one is, I believe it's a mono one, and this is the one, the Rainbow Capital Records. Not really getting the record out to show you, just, uh, this is a yard sale purchase. I bought this and another one for a dollar, dollar each. I'll show you like which record it was that I also got with this so as soon as I can get this one back in here then I'll get the next one and it is none other than my number one Beatles album some may disagree with this being number one but personally to me it is number one and it's Rubber Soul this is a rough copy that I have this is another one that I got at a flea market for a dollar and the record itself, I believe this is a mono. I'm not too sure, and yes it is. It's on the Rainbow Capital Records with the first song that is I've Just Seen a Face, because there's other versions where Drive My Car is the first song and all that. So, there you go. Next one is a, another copy of Rubber Soul. This one is a stereo one, I believe. And I believe it's the Rainbow Capital Records, and no, it's not. It's the Green Capital Records one, stereo one. And there you go. I just love, you know, the songs on this, as I mentioned. Uh, another flea market purchase. Then, um, next one I have is another copy of Rubber Soul. Uh, this is on the, or the Orange Capital Records one, I believe. This one... Uh, I'm not really too sure about this one. Might be the might be a mono because I'm not sure it, this doesn't say stereo on it, but not too sure about that. Then I have another copy of Rubber Soul, and this one is uh, EMI, as it says, but um, this is the one that starts with "Drive My Car." Yep, my number one favorite Beatles album, as I said. Again, some may disagree, but that's fine. Then I have. Yesterday and today, I do not own the Butcher cover. I do not, but I own this one. This, I believe, is, is a stereo one. Bought a Tunes. And a yeah, really good album with a lot of good songs on it. Then I have another copy of Yesterday and Today. This one on the green Apple Record one. Stereo one. Don't have a mono one. But nothing wrong with that. Okay, and next one I have, I have one copy of Revolver. This one, I believe, is a mono one because I don't think it's stereo, but it does not have the song And Your Bird Can Sing because I think that's another import or something. But nonetheless, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty good album, a lot of good songs on it. Just uh, only have one copy, but that's all right. It's a flea market purchase. I used to play these a lot on my Facebook channel, but a lot of them had to be removed because of copyrights. But back in the day, they didn't, you know, have any copyrights at that time. But now they do. But next one that I have, it was 20 years ago today. Sgt. Pepper taught the band to play. Two copies of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Both are on the Rainbow Capital Records. Uh, one. It's just a regular one that just um, is the record itself. This one has the cutouts, which I'm not really going to show, but it is in there. And this one, I think it was, I think it was this one where I got um, from the yard sale with the cutouts for a dollar. The guy was selling them, and I said I'm definitely going to get them. And the other one was a flea market purchase. Don't remember where, but it's all right. Roll up for the mystery tour. This one is a stereo one on the green Apple Records. 
And I have another copy of this album too. A little bit in rough condition, but another one I saw for a dollar. There you go. More great songs that are on this too. And this one is also stereo one. Don't have a mono one. This one's on the Rainbow Capitol Records. Yep. Then another album that people probably consider their number one favorite, and that is the White Album, or the self-titled album, The Beatles, but it's more commonly known as The White Album. This one's on the Green Apple Records, Stereo One, and a lot of great songs are on this one too. They just celebrated an anniversary of this album. 50 years, I believe it was. I mean, yeah. I mean, still a great album. Probably in my top five, maybe my number five, but I'm not really too sure. Then I have another copy of it. It's a little bit in rough condition because of the stuff on it, but uh, the record itself is another stereo one, just like the one that I have as well. But uh, that's you know pretty much it about this album, but there you go. Okay, next one I have is a copy of Yellow Submarine. This one is on the Apple Records once, the green one, and this is the only copy I have of this album. I mean, I have not really seen the movie a lot, but not really, I just, I just don't really, um, particularly, I mean, it's okay, but I like A Hard Day's Night and Help more, but the album's pretty good, too, you know, there's some pretty good songs that are on it. Yep. Then I have Abbey Road. This one, I believe... I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to have to take it out and look at it and see which one it is. It's a stereo one on the green Apple Records one. Uh, this one belonged to my uncle back in the day, but he really doesn't really listen to the Beatles a lot anymore. But I decided to keep the album because I don't want to see it like go anywhere like a Goodwill store, thank goodness, or anything else like that, or anybody sell it because you can't, you can't donate Beatles stuff. I mean, definitely not. I mean... Only like if the record is warped, maybe, but that's about it. And I have another copy, which is this one, and this is on the orange Capitol Records. One might be... I'm not too sure, because it says S.O. That might mean stereo, but I'm not really too sure. You can let me know if it says S.O. on the record, if it means stereo or what. Then, I have Let It Be. This is on the red Apple One, stereo one. And I have another one, which is pretty much the same one, but I just have another one, also a flea market purchase, on the Red Apple Records as well. And there you go. So that's it for the studio albums now. Now we'll get into some of these, which I guess would be pretty much compilation albums or whatever, but here we go. We have the early Beatles. Compilation of songs like Love Me Do, Twist and Shout, a lot of their songs from the Please Please Me album. This one's on the Capitol Records one. I'm not sure, like, the label, but uh, I believe it's... I, don't th I think it's Rainbow, but I'm not sure. Then I have The Beatles' Greatest. This one's a really good album because it has a lot of great songs on it. It's a stereo EMI record label. A lot of songs like uh, I Want to Hold Your Hand, Twist and Shout, and uh, Please, Mr. Please Mr. Postman, Long Tall Sally, Eight Days a Week. A Hard Day's Night. Yeah. There you go. Uh, another one I have. Uh, this one is called... Um, uh, what's it called? The Beatles Real Music. This is like music. Songs like A Hard Day's Night, I Should Have Known Better, and a couple others. I saw it at a flea market, and I said I pretty much would get it because it's a compilation album and just um, a lot of pretty good songs on it. Then, here's the single of Hey Jude. This one uh, people pretty much like. Uh, another one that used to belong to my uncle. And this is a stereo Green Apple Records one. Then we have The Beatles 1962 to 1966, or the Red Album. This album is not red, but it's on a uh, red or a green Apple Records one. This one's a little bit in rough condition because I got it from a flea market for a dollar. Hard to believe, but I did. But I have a better copy right here. And this one was another flea market purchase that I got. 
and record itself, like I mentioned, this green Apple record, like that one, just like the other one that I showed you, but uh, didn't really show the record because it's a little bit in rough condition. There you go. Oh, and uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a stereo one, but just uh, to check, just for the heck of it. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't really say stereo on it. I mean, it could be mono, but I don't know. Then, the Beatles 1967 to 1970, or the Blue album. This one's on the Blue Apple Records one, or blue the Blue label with the green Apple record. You know what I mean. I mean, not like, uh, um... You know, you know what I mean, just, um, I don't have the red or blue albums in this. I mean, they would be nice to own. Yep. Then we have The Beatles Rock and Roll Music, another, like, Greatest Hits one, or compilation one, with songs like Twist and Shout, I Saw Her Standing There, Rock and Roll Music, Bad Boy, Roll Over Beethoven, Side 3, uh, Drive My Car. Yeah, a lot of really good songs on this one. This is one the... Uh, it's an EMI one. Then, the 20 greatest hits of the Beatles. And this one's on the purple Capitol Records one, I believe. I'm not too sure. A lot of greatest hits, pretty much, on this album. And that's it. Then we have John Lennon Imagine. Even though this is their solo stuff, but still, it's kind of like part of the Beatles. But, you know, great songs on this one, including the song Imagine and a couple others, too. We have Double Fantasy, John Lennon, Yoko Ono. Yep, another really good album. It's on the um, Geffen Records. I think that's what it says. Then I have John Lennon's Greatest Hits. With songs on here like uh, Give Peace a Chance, Instant Karma, Power to the People. Uh, we got Jealous Guy, and we also got Imagine, Watching the Wheels, and many, mo and many more flea market purchases as well, like uh, the others two that I showed you. They're all flea market purchases. And a lot of people really love this one. I mean, a lot of people own this on CD. And I saw this at Record and Tate Trader in the local music store and figured I'd be get this one. The Beatles 1. I own it on CD, never owned it on cassette. You open it up and it shows like the inside right here. And the record is on, I believe, like the, um, just a red like logo and the Beatles one symbol that's on there. A lot of greatest hits on here. Some I wish that was, you know, on this album, like uh, songs from their albums, like A Hard Day's Night. Well, Hard Day's Night is on here, but it should have, like, I should have known better if I fell and many, many more. But it's still a great album nonetheless, like Penny Lane, Hello Goodbye, Come Together. Um, Ticket to Ride, Help, Day Tripper, We Can Work It Out, Paperback Writer, Yellow Submarine, and there you go. And the last one that I own is, it was 50 years ago today, Sgt. Pepper told the band to play. The 50th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I got this at the local music store, Record and Tape Traders, and it's a little bit in rough condition, but I figured that I would get this album because... I already own the other ones too, and that's pretty much it. I mean, yep, and there you go. I mean, a lot of great songs on it, as I mentioned, and that's about it. So there you go. Okay, so that is going to wrap it up. That is my Beatles vinyl record collection as of 2019. Sorry for the screw up for saying 2018, but it's okay. It happens. So if you do like this video, uh, please like this video. And uh, please comment if you have something to say about this. Uh, say, like, what you want about my collection. Like, um, just no negative stuff, you know. And subscribe if you have not. And please do, because it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And you all take care. And thanks again for watching this video of my 2019 Beatles vinyl record collection.